Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme Video. Monday, December 20th, closing in on Christmas. And I uh, got a big storm that's going to affect some folks around the uh, Christmas weekend. Uh, snow, who gets it, where? Let's see if we can take a look. First off, the uh, Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. First off, coming from Birmingham. That's we there from the top of the Daniel Building, looking back to the southeast. A few mid-level clouds up, about twelve to 18,000 feet. We'll call it a partly sunny afternoon. That's the view coming from Demopolis on the Tom Bigby River. Looking south from the Demopolis Civic Center. High clouds there. And from Decatur, the sky mostly cloudy, and that doesn't bode well for the lunar eclipse. We have one uh, tonight. Begins about 1230 local time, about 30 minutes after midnight. It peaks between about 130 and 230, but I don't know. Clouds could be a big factor, and we might not be able to see it. First time we've had a... A, an eclipse on the winter solstice since 1638, even before I was doing weather on television back then. There's the uh, water vapor satellite shot. You can see that next impulse coming away, producing some high clouds. And that's going to rain a little bit in spots tomorrow, but not very much. Temperatures this afternoon, not too far below average. We should be in the mid-50s. We note Gadsden's the cool spot at 48, 53 for Anniston and Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. At 54 tonight will not be as cold as last night because of the incoming clouds and the insulation effect. Check the watch warning map if you're traveling tomorrow. Be aware, an epic snowstorm for the Colorado Rockies and parts of the mountains out in Utah as well. Sierra Nevadas in California getting hammered. We got flood watches up for parts of Southern California. And up north, winter weather issues for the Dakotas, Minnesota, down toward Chicago and Milwaukee from snow up there. Here's the overall uh, precipitation for the next five days around the nation. Valid through Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. About a half inch here. Biggest numbers are out west. How about a 10.5 inch bullseye over the mountains of Southern California? Man, that's going to be a whole lot of snow for those uh, mountains there. And, of course, for the low elevations, there will be some flooding issues. So if you're uh, heading out to Los Angeles or San Diego, be aware of that. All right, let's uh, move on to the modeling. This is the O's, I'm sorry, the 12Z run of the GFS at noon tomorrow. Got a, a northwest flow aloft and, again, a little impulse over the Great Lakes, producing maybe a shower or two in scattered pockets, but, yeah, don't count on it. The uh, 12Z runs are not bullish at all on rain with this. It'll be mostly cloudy, maybe a shower in spots, but many of you, I think, will not get wet. Highs will stay in the mid to upper 50s. Wednesday... Uh, the model trying to hint it may be a shower down in South Alabama, but again, the chance would be small. Uh, we'll call it partly sunny with upper 50s likely on Wednesday. Thursday, dry, pretty comfortable. High Thursday afternoon, maybe, um, I don't know, mid to upper 50s, maybe pushing 60 in spots. And then Friday, here comes this trough on Christmas Eve, and uh, that will be providing some dynamic lift. Trough not especially Dynamic here. There's the uh, surface chart. This broad low near Memphis uh, shows snow for St. Louis and uh, uh, Chicago kind of sitting on the northern fringe of that with showers here. There's a look at Friday night at midnight. Ooh, all the little boys and girls better be in bed at this point, but uh, we've got some uh, rain showers coming through. A uh, weak surface low is located in northeast Georgia on this run. And again, hardly any surface-based instability, so we don't expect any severe weather issues or problems with, uh, you know, big storms, just some rain. And then uh, Saturday, the trough begins to phase up and connect uh, with a uh, polar vortex over Hudson Bay, and that's going to make it turn cold on Christmas Day. Strong north flow coming off the ice fields of Canada. And uh, there might be a snow flurry on the backwash, but uh, the GFS suggesting not very much. And uh, the high, we'd struggle to reach, we'd struggle to get out of the 30s if this is right. And that wind will make it feel colder. So uh, Christmas Day looks windy, cold, maybe a flurry or two somewhere, especially over northeast Alabama. Now, that's the GFS. Let's look at the European. Much more interesting. It's got a 1,012 millibar low near Tallahassee. And the uh, 540 line, which can be a rain-snow line, doesn't have to be. Uh, is running uh, over the Tennessee Valley, roughly around the Tennessee River. 
And uh, again, that would suggest just maybe a little snow for the Tennessee Valley, still just rain for the Interstate 20 corridor. But again, uh, you know, the, the European, I'll, I'll be honest with you, has not performed that well this year. But for the snow fans, look at the Canadian. Now, that's much more like it. Again, it's got a 1,012 millibar load near Lake City, Florida. The 540 line is actually below Birmingham. And yeah, come on now. That would bring a few inches of snow on Christmas morning. This is valid. It's Saturday morning, Christmas morning at 6 o'clock. Wouldn't that be nice? But again, the GFS has done horribly this cold weather season. And we kind of reject that. So you snow lovers, just be aware. you got those outlier models that are trying to suggest maybe a little bit. The Canadian may be suggesting several inches. The European trying to suggest an inch or two for the Tennessee Valley, but the GFS saying, hey, nothing more than flurries. And, uh, you know, based on climatology at this phase of the game, we're going to go with the GFS. Watch model trends in coming days. But again, if you're dreaming of a white Christmas, at least you got the players on the field here. We'll check the uh, accumulated snow graphic coming off the GFS. This is valid Saturday morning at uh, 6 o'clock. If you want a white Christmas, you'll get one in those uh, colored areas there, cities like uh, uh, Indianapolis. And Des Moines, Minneapolis, uh, Denver, the mountains of Colorado and Utah. Uh, really, a lot of the country uh, with the snow cover, maybe down into Tennessee, uh, around Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. And we'll just watch model trends. Sunday, back to the GFS, cold, still windy. Uh, we'll probably stay in the 30s all day. And look at that uh, nor'easter for the northeast. Goodness gracious. 976 millibar low just off Cape Cod with a whopper of a snowstorm for the interior parts of New England on Sunday, if this is right. And then Monday of next week, week from today, things look cold and quiet. Got there a few more days. New Year's Eve. How about December 31st? Got a trough coming in. Surface low in the Gulf. That's a close call, isn't it? Snow at Memphis, maybe. But this is voodoo. We all know this will disappear. And uh, January 2nd, another big trough. Look at that snow coming in here with a 1040 Arctic high on the Canadian border. But wait a minute now. I don't know about that. Again, we'll probably see this vanish on the next few runs. And there's the fifth. It just looks cold and dry. But again, that's what gets our attention. The North Atlantic Oscillation goes positive around the new year. And that would suggest it's going to be harder to get really cold air down in here. So... Again, we'll just have to uh, wait and see, but that suggests it might be time for a little milder spell come the 1st of January. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.